Guys, today we are doing the 2020 football gear bag video. I'm really excited about this video. I've been waiting to show you guys this gear. And so, um, yeah, let's, uh, let's go. Before this video starts, I have started my racing career. Some of you guys might know, some of you guys might not. But anyways, I will be making another channel for my racing content. I will link it in the description down below. So uh, make sure you guys check that out after this video. What's going on guys, your boy here. Today is the 2020 football gear bag video. I have a bunch of gear right here to show all of you guys. I have a mouth guard right here. And then, um, yeah, I'll be going in depth for all my stuff. And I wanted to kick it off. Let me grab my cleats right here. These are the New Balance Free Zelks 2.0. So keep in mind, these are lacrosse cleats. Although, um, I think lacrosse cleats are very similar to football cleats. Um, they're very, very light, have a little bit more ankle support, which what something that I really need. Um, they are turf cleats. Keep These are a little bit dirty. Sorry about that. I've been uh, practicing a lot in the offseason because I do live in California. And currently, we have not gotten the okay to go back to play football. Um, some schools have, some schools haven't, and my school hasn't. So, um, yeah, these are the New Balance Free Zelks 2.0. They are a little bit dirty on the bottom, but as you can see, they are turf cleats. Um... Not recently, obviously, but they are meant to be turf cleats, and I really, really like these. I picked these up for around $60 um, off of Amazon, which is a really great deal. Um, this was about four or five months ago, though, so um, they may be a little bit more expensive. I just looked it up, and uh, right now it's about $90, but I know you can find these for much cheaper. So that is the first item, my cleats that I'm using for this year, the New Balance Free Zelks. Now, moving on up, we do have the Under Armour football pants. Now, I have used these for the past couple of years. I've had a really, really good experience with the Under Armour football pants. Um, I have used the Nike pants. Um, those ones, I don't think fit as well as these ones do. So, I'd really recommend these. I will have to get white versions of these because my school currently does not have black in their uniforms. So, I'll have to get white versions of these pants. But I think the Under Armour pants are the best ones on the market currently. Um, you can find these for about $50 to $60 um, on Dick's Sporting Goods and Amazon. You can check those out. But uh, anyways, yeah, these are the Under Armour pants. Now let's, uh, let's move on. Next up, we have the football gloves. Now this year, I'll be rocking the Nike 8.0s. See, I believe these are Nike Alpha 8.0s. I picked these up on the Nike website um, a couple months ago. So what these things have really good compression on the back and great airflow on the inside, really good grip, and I think it has a pretty cool look. Um, so I picked these up about $60, um, which can be actually pretty expensive for, for gloves. Um, most gloves range from about $30 to $40, so these are a little bit on the higher side. Um, but if you guys had the extra $20 or so to spend, I would definitely recommend investing your money in these. Um, they have really good grip. Before these, I did have the Nike, I think these are Nike um, Alpha 3s, which is actually really old since these are 8.0s. And back then, you could only find the Nike 3s on Amazon or on eBay. So, um, yeah, these are the Nike 8.0s. Really recommend these things if you guys have the extra money. They are a little bit dirty because I've also been practicing with these. Um, but over the past few weeks, these have been treating me really well. So, uh Let's, do, let's move on. Before we get to the shoulder pads, I wanted to show you guys what mouth guard I will be rocking for this year. I have the NXT R&D Lip Guard 1. These are really awesome mouth guards. I did a full in-depth review last week, on, on or not last week, last video. Um, I haven't posted for two months. I'm sorry about that, guys, but I wanted to wait to give you guys this video. Um, so I did a full in-depth review of these of this mouth guard um, in my last video. It comes with this really cool box um, with the package, and then it comes with these two um, little uh, connectors to your helmet, which I think are really awesome. So that is about twenty dollars, and if you guys use my code Jaboy twenty, you will get twenty percent off your purchase, and it will help support the channel. So, um, yes, I really like these mouth guards. Very light, very um, flexible, and uh, yeah, let's move on to the uh, next product. Now, this might be the moment you guys have all been waiting for. These are my shoulder pads. So this year, I will be using the Douglas JCP uh, Youth Larges. So um, Douglas makes really, really nice shoulder pads. I don't know if you guys know this, but um, I... 
pretty much all the people in the NFL and college football use Douglas shoulder pads. Um, and these shoulder pads are awesome. They're coming in at about $300. Um, and uh, yeah, I've gone through many, many pairs of shoulder pads over the years. And um, over the past few weeks, I've actually ordered and returned about four pairs of shoulder pads to find the best ones for, uh, for me. And these ones have really good flexibility and um, really, really light. And uh, yeah, I think they're the best looking shoulder pads, the best feeling shoulder pads. And uh, I think I will be putting my battle back plate on the back of this. I have a gold battle back plate. If you guys saw my last football gear back video um, from 2019, I think I will be putting that on the back. But we'll have to see. So uh, yeah, about $300. I got these off of Dick Sporting Goods. Dick Sporting Goods is great. Free returns and um, shipping in about three days. So uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's move on to the helmet. Now, the moment you guys have all been waiting for, this is the Riddell Speed Flex. I will be rocking the same helmet for the third year in a row this year. Um, I really like the Riddell Speed Flex. Um, over the past few years, it has made some crucial improvements, although I still have the 2018 version. I don't know if the camera will focus on that, but I still have the 2018 version of the Riddell Speed Flex. Um, my friend Quasi, he was in the last 2019 football here back video. He actually just got a Speed Flex 2, and the 2020 version is actually a little bit heavier than the 2018 version. So um, I will be sticking with this one. This comes in at around $430. And then I really wanted to pick up the Riddell Speed Flex Diamond, but um, it is a little bit more expensive. And I think I might be picking up it next year. Um, you know, your boys rocking the TCP cup right there. Always recommend that. It's the most comfortable. And, um, yeah, I got this painted metallic royal blue. Last year, if you guys remember, I had a matte black helmet because that is what my uh, youth club team's uh, uniformed colors were. Um, so, uh, yeah, that is pretty much all my gear for this year. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I definitely want to pump out some more videos over this season because I know the football season is starting to uh, kick off a little bit in the, um, in the east part of the country. But in California, I mean, we have not gotten the okay to play yet. Um, but I'm still training, and hopefully we will get back soon. Hopefully we get some vlog, vlog game day videos for you guys, too. And uh, I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.